everyone and welcome back. Today is another subscriber request. It's a remodel of the DIY home. Sachi Sims put in the comments that she would like for me to redo this house. If you guys remember when we got it, um, it was pretty cool when we got it because it was still during that time period where we were just starting to make rooms that could be one or two squares wide instead of three by three minimum and we could also start placing windows side by side instead of having to have a one space gap. The only thing is even when we got the home which I believe was two or three years ago oh and we got the basement too that was a big thing um, it was the furnishings in it were still old at that point so these are like these furnishings are like seven six seven years old. And I don't know, I just feel like when a new house comes out, they should kind of step it up and put some newer, better things in the houses. They don't have to be brand new, but newer. But beyond that, it's actually a cute little house. I actually like the layout pretty well. Um, it has the big deck on the back. I think it does stick out a little far, but we were just thrilled to be able to have balconies then too. So that was another plus and looking at the layout it has you know one bedroom like the master downstairs it has another two bedrooms upstairs and a bath and they did put closets in the home and they did put that uh, basement there which we all enjoyed so that's what we're going to do today i'm not sure what i'm going to do with the layout i know the colors are going to be completely different um that's what i have in mind at this point i have not done the house yet but when i come back you will see how it turned out So here it is guys, this is it. I've made it into a contemporary home. I've used the dark gray exterior. I've used the metal roof uh, coming around the back here. I did keep the balcony slash patio, but I did decrease the size of it so it didn't hang over as much. And of course I've changed all of the colors. I've included a barbecue area out here that's not covered. I used the red uh, barbecue that I got from an architect home and I've used the white windows for contrast against the gray exterior. So coming in here, of course, you know, if you've watched my remodels before, I do not change walls. I don't change the footprint of the home at all. So this was the original hallway. I just changed the colors. Um, I kind of tried to go with a reddish black and gray theme with white popping out everywhere. So this is the front living room that was already there. All I did was completely redecorate it. I used that bright, I don't know what color that is. They call it crimson, but it's not exactly red. But it's red enough to where if you wanted to do a home in red, it's a nice compliment, that wall color is. So that's what the living room looks like. And then moving back here, remember they had that little computer area. Um, so I changed the stairway out and I made this area actually a television area with a nice little table decorated and a stereo. And I did that all in black and gray and white. So that's what that looks like. That's now the area where you go upstairs. And then back in here, let's go up front first. We have that master bedroom. I changed how the furniture was laid out in it. Um, I used my favorite bedroom furniture. As you know, that is my favorite, except for the new blue and green beds that we just got. And I redid the closet. I really like this black carpeting especially against white colored walls. And then I changed the bathroom up there. I made it white and gold and gray. And then that little room there, you can't really see it. They had a teeny, um, I guess, bathroom in there maybe. I made that a butler's pantry that's adjacent to this kitchen. I did the kitchen in red and black and gray and white. And I love those pops of red. I love that red orchid. Every time an architect home has that, I get that out of there and I put it in my inventory because I have no idea how else to get that orchid. But that's what the kitchen looks like. And then we have that little hallway there that goes down to the basement. I left the basement unfinished, but I did refurnish it. I used it as a utility area for the hot water heater, extra clothing. And then in this larger room, I made it into a little home gym with a TV. So I kind of, you know, I kind of like to try to keep things realistic when I do these remodels. I've had a few that look a little, you know, unique, but I love to make homes that are very realistic, like someone could actually live in them. And this is the landing upstairs. I put the cute new pug painting there. And then, of course, we already had the hallway there. It's just different colors. That's all. And 
there is that other bedroom that had a double bed in it. I turned it into a teenage girl's room and we have, you know, the pug things because I'm going to move in a family that has a teenage daughter and a pug. So this would be sort of like her little pug, the teenage daughter. So I wanted to put some of the dog's things in her room, including that dog bed in the corner. It turned into a cute little teenager's room. And then she has her own closet here. Instead of a wardrobe, I put a full closet in there. And this little twin bedroom that was here before with the green bed, I turned into a home office and study. And there you can see it from a better angle. And then the bathroom that was already here, all I did was redecorate it and put one of the new sinks and toilets that I had purchased in the package online. I love those vanities. And the pug bathtub in there. And then this little closet that where the bedroom used to be, it didn't need a closet anymore, so I turned it into a laundry room. So that's how the remodel turned out. We'll look at the furniture placement here on the first floor. I'll just scan through here really quickly in case you want to do it over yourself. And the reason I've been doing a lot of these remodels lately is because I encourage people who are feeling uninspired or just don't want to take the time to build from the ground up to buy some of these older homes and use things that are in your inventory old and new together and be creative and that way you can just decorate instead of having to build from the ground up if you're just in the mood to decorate it's a wonderful option to do that just take these older homes and make them into something completely new and do it your way don't necessarily do it my way do it your way make it your own but these are just suggestions and this has been a lot of fun thank you Sachi Sims for requesting this I hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have, please give me a thumbs up and please check out the other videos on my channel. I also do a lot of original builds. I have series and you name it. So just check it out. Thanks again, guys, and have a wonderful day.